Hello. Today I'm going to be giving you an in-depth tutorial on how to use Cyberlink PowerDirector 9. To start off with, I would like to say that I would highly recommend this powerful video editor to anyone from amateurs to more professional technologists. When working with PowerDirector 9, there are three main workspaces. You have your media tray, your preview window, and your timeline. It is important that we have an understanding of what each of these workspaces are useful for. The purpose of the media tray is pretty self-explanatory. Basically, it is where you can import all of your media that you want to use in your project. The purpose of the preview window is to play back your project throughout the editing process, so you know what your edited video clip looks like. The timeline is where all of the magic happens. Everything you can possibly do in Cyberlink PowerDirector takes place in the timeline. In order for us to start editing, we are going to need some video footage to edit. You can import your media into the media tray by either clicking Import Media to choose individual media files for your project, or you can click Import Media Folder, which allows you to import a whole folder of media into your media tray. I'm going to import a single media file by clicking Import Media File, then choosing the file which I'm going to be working with today. To the left of the media tray is the editing panel. This panel contains tabs which give you access to everything from effects and transitions to a voiceover recording studio and subtitle room. Let's start by taking a look at the Effects tab, which is located here. In the effects room, we have access to 100 pre-installed video effects. To apply an effect to the video, you simply drag it from the list of effects and place it on top of the video footage. I will demonstrate applying an effect to the video using the edge effect. As you can see, once you have dragged the effect onto the video footage, it is automatically applied. Of course, you are not limited to only adding one effect to your video. You can add multiple effects to your footage by adding splits in the video and applying different effects onto each section of the video you have split. To make a split in the video, you simply drag the selection bar to the desired part of the video, right click the footage and click split. As you can see, I have just made 5 splits in the video. Now I'm going to add a different effect to each section of the video. And there you have it. Adding effects to your video could not be easier. Now that we know how to split our video footage and add video effects, let's take a look at adding video transitions between the splits. I'm here in the transitions room, where I have access to over 150 transitions. Adding a video transition is such a simple task in PowerDirector 9. You can add a transition by dragging it to the area in your video that you have made the split, and placing it between the two clips of video. That is all you have to do to add professional looking video transitions to your video in PowerDirector 9. So. Now we have a brilliant looking video containing cool effects and transitions. Next we are going to learn how to add text into our videos. Here in the text room we can add all kinds of styles, sizes and colours to give our video an even more professional look. The easiest way to add text is by choosing one of the 120 pre-installed text items that Cyberlink has to offer. All you have to do to add text into your video is drag it from the text room into the text track in the timeline. Once you have placed the text in the track, you can double click it to edit what it says, the style and size of it, the colour of it, and the text effect. Once you have edited the text, you simply click OK for the changes to take effect. 
So far we have created a wonderful video containing effects, text and transitions. A video is never complete without a stylish introduction and we can create one of those with the help of the particle room. In the particle room we have access to dozens of sophisticated effects that we can include in our video to create a stylish video introduction. I am going to choose the bubble particle to create my video introduction with. To insert it into the timeline, you simply drag it from the particle room into the either the master video track or any of the picture and picture tracks. Once it has been placed in the desired track, you can add text to it using the method I've shown you previously in this video. An additional feature which you may find useful during the editing process is the Media Viewer. The Media Viewer allows you to view a full-size preview of your project and can be accessed under the Preview window using the tab named Preview in the Media Viewer. Click on the Preview Media Viewer tab to open a drop-down menu. You must then select Launch Media Viewer in order for it to open. Here you can see my final video introduction created with the help of the particle room. For the sake of keeping this tutorial as short as possible, we are going to be drawn to a clause by looking at the PIP room in PowerDirector 9. As you may have noticed, throughout this tutorial I have mentioned the PIP track, which is an abbreviation of the Picture and Picture track. The PIP room specialises in objects that you can use in your videos to apply a Picture and Picture effect. A simple way to describe the Picture and Picture effect would be that one picture overlays another. Here in the PIP room, we have access to dozens of pre-installed picture-in-picture objects. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to be applying the balloon picture-in-picture -picture object to my video footage. To use a PIP object, you simply drag it from the PIP room into a PIP track on the timeline. As you can see, if I open the preview window, the picture-in-picture -picture object has successfully been applied to the video. The last thing I would like to show you before bringing this tutorial to an end is a unique feature that PowerDirector 9 has to offer. Now. You may have noticed throughout this video I refer to the PIP track a lot. Well, PowerDirector gives you the opportunity to add up to 99 additional PIP tracks and up to 99 additional audio tracks. This makes your editing possibilities endless and gives you more flexibility when it comes to editing. You can add additional tracks in PowerDirector by using the Track Manager which is located here. Click on the Track Manager icon, then enter how many additional video or audio tracks you would like to enable. Then click OK and your tracks will be ready to use. It's as easy as that. I would like to say a very big thank you for watching this video and don't forget you can go to www.directorzone.com for tutorials, downloads and more information. Thanks again for watching, goodbye.